well, I did I did some research for this guy, but I didn't go too crazy because I knew old Jay Wayne, old Clemson Jay Wayne over there would go ham on this dude. Yeah. So our consensus ranking at 18 is Sammy Watkins. Sammy. What do you before we start out? Well, no, go, I'll let you go first. Go ahead. No, you give us, no, no. Give us some Sammy. Give me, give me, give us why we should love some Sammy Watkins at eighteen. He is only twenty four. Well, there's one. You took the words right out of my mouth. You took the words right out of my mouth. Don't kiss me. I'm still it a little wasn't nasally. When I was kissing. I'm you. still a little nasally. We got some nasal fantasy football <laughs> for second week in a row. I apologize. I cannot shake this head cold. There's a pressure in my head. At least I don't have the I flu, though. Take that kind of rejection. <laughs> well, Sammy's coming off a bit of a down year. Yeah. He, he was traded at the last minute out of yep. Buffalo, so he didn't have a full offseason with his team. Oh, uh, you know, if Big Cut was here, this would be his favorite thing to talk about. Didn't get an offseason with his squad, which is a very fair assessment. Yeah. You know, didn't no, get developed uh, that rapport right, with Goff. Right. Late, late arriver. Yeah. Only late arriver. <laughs> It's really in the it's in the core. I've been trying to figure out how to get that R right where you need it because sometimes I just force the the pleasure, but it's you run out of air too early. It's got to it, come from the plums. It's got to come from deep down in your plums. You got to feel it. Take market. You got to <laughs> take them to market. <laughs> Two for one on plums. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be down. You got to feel it. It's got to be pleasure. <laughs> if it's not pleasurable. <laughs> All right, Sammy Watkins. Back, back to back to Sammy. Here people we go. were like, "Well, these guys just shut the hell just up. Shut just the hell up and tell me about Sammy already." So he only caught thirty nine balls for five hundred and ninety three yards, but he did score eight touchdowns. Eight of them were for touchdowns. Eight touchdowns. That is a solid number. And he's one off his record of nine and fifteen, which is a solid fifteen. Right, solid fifteen. Which to is put up. probably some of the reason why he retains his value the way he does, because you've seen shimmers of being special. It's crazy how he retains that value. I don't right? think there's been a player that retains value as well as Sammy Watkins. Every as year far, he gets a free as pass. As long as I've been playing Dynasty, maybe he gets a new clean slate every year. He's then, a shiny new object. The haters every grow year. a little, but there's the guy. People stay strong on Sammy. Yeah, there's guy definitely think, not twelve haters in the room. No, definitely not. Um, but the the thing to me is that he stayed completely healthy all year long. Like that's the key point to me because that's really been the biggest knock on him throughout his career. He is a screw foot guy. He you had, know, you don't usually like the screw I don't foot like guys. the screw foot guys. Um, but I've come around. I came around. I'm 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 backing off a of Dez now again. I think, but not because of a screw foot. Um, and I think I'm backing off of, of Julio a little bit, but not because it's more of everything about julio and the age and, and and i mean he's still really high up there, yeah i mean but, at, you're backing off of him to like five or six right you exactly know? uh but 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 sammy to 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 come off of, of a foot surgery and he missed a lot of that uh f 16 16 and i you know i'm not sure why the bills didn't want to keep him they didn't pick up his fifth year option they tri they shipped him out um but but he played all year long and and he's he's a guy that's dealt with the soft tissue issues too in the past like like much like other quick quick twitch at, athletes he's dealt with groin hamstring and calf strains which are all mus muscle issues right. but he didn't show up on a single injury report all of 2017 Is that a fact cuz i that's thought i thought huge. he had an ankle thing for a, for a little bit uh, according to uh, Player Profiler, there were no injury oh, that's reports the gospel, so reported. We're going to go with that. Well, it is when it is what I want it to be. <laughs> right. Isn't that how when we do it? When it supports it? my Isn't that how e theory. Yeah, exactly. That's how <laughs> everything goes. And just about anything in life. So Right. Um, Except for drops. Yeah. I don't go there for drops. No, don't go there don't for drops. I don't know who's charting drops, but I think they're wildly They're, they're off on the drops. Every single... there's a, They inflate drops. One yeah. drop is two drops there for the most yeah, part. They're... they're, they're his his brand likes to put people down. Right. We're we're about they're about finding the hate. We want to find the reasons to like the dude. And then when you hate, we like to we're, hate on your hate. The only <laughs> hate we want to throw is towards the hate. We like to hate on the hate. Anyway. All right. So Sammy was fifty sixth in targets with only seventy this year, but he was seventeenth in red zone receptions at seven. Um, and I think he had like two long bombs, but the rest of those were like red all, zone all inside the ten or something like that. Right. Um, pro football focus. Speaking of drops, charted him with zero. The old goose egg, in a good way. Zero drops. This dude is a crisp route runner. He wins at all levels of the field. He's super fast. He's like a four four three dude. He's so quick yeah. off the line of scrimmage. That first step is a doozy. Right. 
Um, but but if you press him, right, his hands are as strong as they come, and he's good at fighting off the line of scrimmage and throughout the route to gain that separation. Um, he's he's obviously a burner, but he's he's good against the sideline. Yeah, he's got more than just the vertical game. Right, into, in he his he can arsenal. dive. He can make the one-handed catch. But what's really impressive to me is how basically he's a center fielder out there. He's a great Put ball. Me in, coach. Right. He's a great I'm ball ready to play. tracker. Ooh, tracker. That's uh, he, a new one. I don't think that's a first. Right? He makes some of the most amazing over the head catches. Like he looks like Andrew Jones out there. Remember Andrew Jones? Oh yeah. I mean, you're a Braves guy. You must be a Braves guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, he he's he's so fast he can get underneath almost any ball. And man, 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 remember when Andrew Jones was good? Remember before he he wasn't able to bat his weight, you know? <laughs> he really fell off offensively, but he never fell off defensively. He, yeah. As soon as that ball was cracked, he was like off in sprinting in the direction of the... Like he just knew where it was going to be. Yeah. Well, that's Sammy Watkins out there playing center field for the Rams. Um, he... he uh, I, Back to the Bills thing. I don't know why they wanted to trade him, but they... they they got rid of a lot of dudes. They hate Tyrod Taylor. They let go of Hogan, Bobby Woods. Oh, Mikey, Bob Woods. Mikey How'd that two work gills. out for you? Mike Two Gills, see ya. Right. So I don't want to hold that That's against Mike him. That's Mike Gillisley, in case you were wondering. I don't want to hold it against him. You You're could look at program. that as a negative. Like, these guys, the Bills moved up to draft Sammy at four overall. Yeah, that was the old guard. They wanted a changing of the guard. Then, boys, what they did is they wanted to get rid of everybody and bring in nothing but slot receivers. Right. <laughs> boys were like, give me, give us, we'll take all the league slot receivers, and yeah. then almost near the end of the season, we'll take Kelvin Benjamin. Yeah. <laughs> but let's go with Peterman. Yeah. And we're going to play Peterman for a game because uh, he's the savior. Yeah. I don't get it, but I don't want to. I, I think you could look at it as a negative that they wouldn't want to pick up his fifth year option and that they'd want to trade him. But I just I don't really like what the Bills, how they operate. I mean, they're a good team. They obviously made it to the playoffs. Offensively, though, unless it's McCoy, it's McCoy doo -doo. Or bust. A right. couple of doodle streaks. Right. Um, some more on Sammy. He's a quiet, humble dude, which you don't always see in such a talented, touted dude. Right. Um, he's a hard worker. He's a student of the game. I've never heard uh, Dabo Sweeney, the head coach of, of the Clemson Tigers, I've never heard him talk with such high praise about a freshman. When Sammy came in as a true freshman, he said Dabo was saying he was like always asking questions. He's always writing things down. He carried around a notebook that he always had his head buried in. And like he was just nonstop studying and constantly trying to learn how to perfect his craft and he he you see those subtle nuances show up in his route running and his game and his game preparation um he's still only 24 years old he's a free agent he's open to staying in los angeles i think i'd really like that um and it's they're saying that they're probably going to franchise tag him which is, sounds pretty good yeah that, um, that's just happened today right that, that just kind of came out just and came i think out. some people are probably a little mixed on, on whether or not he should be back there. But I, I think if you give him a whole other season, An off I mean, season. obviously you have Cooper. There's some weapons there. You got Cooper everywhere, really. You got Cooper Cup, who really, really flashed well Cooper out of the Cup. slot. Um, Taking credit for that. Yeah. I was all over some Cooper Cup. All right. Yeah, just based off his highlight Never tape. Let him keep you down. I, don't think, I don't think that was his. What was his? Uh, we need a hero. We need a hero. <laughs> yeah. And then Bobby Woods came over over the Bobby Woods just lighten it up. He's he. I mean, he's not going to be too too far down this list. You know, way higher than he ever. Will, you know, you're not getting him in the seventeenth round this year. I can tell you that. Right. That ain't happening. And then you got Gurley and and Gurley. The, the tight ends. You got Everett and and Higby who's still around. So and Josh Reynolds kind of waiting in the wings. So this this program could kind of go all over the place. Yeah. But, I mean, when you say mixed feelings, like I was, I have written here that I'd be open to him going somewhere else where maybe they didn't have so many options and, and, and to an offense that didn't work so well spreading the ball around so much. Right. You know, they're kind of like the Eagles. They spread the ball all over the place and, and, and take going, what's open. And going back and watching some Sammy, which, you know, they, they will definitely do that kind of thing and take kind of the easiest matter. But I saw a lot of times where he was, was you know, fairly open and, and just didn't get him the ball, you know, for whatever reason. But just something that I kind of saw out there and I, I think I think as as they go on and if he did stay another year you know I think you would see an increase in uh in, in some more volume over there well they you know they gave up a second round pick to get him they definitely got their money's worth in the red zone and, and, and in the end zone and in helping all those other guys out and in, in developing rapports and all the Sammy's taken most of the attention of the defense right I, I don't know what was going on and I'm not speaking I don't I have no idea if this but uh, McVeigh came in there and he 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 picked up some pieces, but you know 
it seemed like I needed one more guy to kind of draw the defense's eye from and, and make them kind. Of, you know, you can't really double anybody else but Sammy. If you're not nope. going to double Sammy, you're gonna you know you should throw to him. Right. So, and he could be double coverage too. He right. Can get behind you. He can track that deep ball. So I like the Rams' offense. I like what they got going on. I like his ability to 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 sustain a floor with his touchdowns. He showed the ability to score touchdowns. He's open in his route running. He's he's still so young, and he finally stayed healthy. He didn't deal with these these nagging, you know, soft tissue soft kind of tissue injuries any, no, or the no foot. foot. Yeah. So so you're you're basically what I you're feel get, good about Sammy. What you're getting with Sammy and what you're drafting with Sammy is is you're still you know you you got a great production at the end of that 15 season where you saw him really come alive. It was a ridiculous end of that and season. And then you got some big touchdowns in this season. So you've seen some flashes of greatness from Sammy Watkins. You're just hoping that he can put an entire season together and, and finally you can reap the benefits from taking Sammy at this point in time. But what I really struggled with was if I'm on the clock at this point in time and you're telling me that I have to draft a receiver with all these guys left, I have a, I, I have a little bit of a tough time putting Sammy on my team because I just don't know if I can rely on him to be the starter that I want him to be at this kind of pick. Yeah. If that makes sense. No, I get it. I get I get it because you But there's so much upside and that's right. kind of what you're going you, I do honestly believe that he can be a really special player. Like I think he possesses like the Clemson tape is outrageous. He was yeah. ridiculous from and that's true what everybody freshman was on. His really his rookie year was was pretty solid and yeah. and the end of 15 was was awesome and you seem to be just kind of chasing those Ghosts of Sammy past and hoping yeah. that it could be ghosts of Sammy present. Yeah, you know, sooner his, than later. His playing style is is physical. He's a physical dude, especially after the catch. Um, you saw that in college and in the pros. Yeah. And you listen, you watch the if you watch him mic'd up. You know those those pads are thumping. I mean, he Click is clacking. out there clicking the clack, clicking the clack. Right, he's out there battling, and uh, so that can lead you to getting nicked up here and there. But maybe he's figured something out. You know, and his eating regimen and his off the field work regimen, he he's he's gonna figure out what works right. It's just crazy when you combine a special elite type of talent with a work ethic, and I yeah. think he has that, and it's it's coming together. And you've seen enough to to his value is sustainable, right? And it could ge- go even higher. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I would like to see him go somewhere else, but if he stayed in L.A. It wouldn't be the end of the world for me, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, I like offenses that can sustain drives. You, right. You know, like stay on the field, more opportunities for your guys. Absolutely. I don't like how they, were, a lot of games, they were blowing dudes out and yeah. then they weren't passing it. Right. They just lean on Gurley. Yeah, which Gurley's so good. Which they should have done in this last game is Hope lead, he on, traded him. lead on Gurley some more right. in, this, in this playoff game. McVay's admitted to not leaning right. on Gurley enough and that got him got in a trouble. little too fancy. But the, really, that was Farrell Cooper's fault they lost. Yeah, that game. well, I mean, you didn't execute. Like you've been executing most of the year, and special teams fell apart. A bunch of drops. Like golf didn't play especially well, but he didn't play terrible for his first time in the playoffs, especially being so young. And, and Sammy and he, probably could have caught that touchdown at the yeah, end. Yeah, he got held, but he did get held. But I mean, Cooper Cup dropped a couple. Robert Woods, I think, dropped one or two. Some tight yeah. ends dropped some, but like the, there were some ready. drops. Yeah, there was just it just didn't all how it was going. They were executing really well most of the season, and they just got into the playoffs, and it just didn't seem right. like they were you know, executing as well as they could. And they're a really young team and, and look where they were last year to where they are now. Right. Very, very good turnaround. And right. And for those, those that don't believe the coaching matters and, and like, you can't just pin it all in the, this playoff game. If they'd have lost uh, one more game and missed the playoffs, who cares? We they still, still would have had a great been, season. Right. We still would be they talking about two, how three more games. Awesome they still would have had a great season. Of a turnaround and they made. You can yeah, they picked up Whitworth, which was a great and, and O'Sullivan, which were Whitworth was a perennial all pro, a good or pro bowler, great player. We talked about it way back in like February yep. when we were talking about about how much that he could impact this team and how it's a good veteran presence. And, you know, we actually I went back and listened to it. We kind of goofed on him a little bit like, I don't know why he's going over there. They're so bad. Right. And he's 35. Why yeah. would you be why would you, wouldn't you want to go to like, to a, you know, a better and he knew something if, we did. Damn if he didn't turn that that ship around, you know, pretty quick, which we were the, like you were one of the only people that I've heard not to bury. You know, Goff Jared and Goff Rams. and this yeah, Rams I just, offense. I watched a lot of Rams football, and it, I don't think it was as bad as what was coming up. And, but that's a story for another time on uh, story time with <laughs> Uncle Casey. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Well, I think that you got any more for Sammy Watkins? No, I, mean, I think I went as hard as I could. I mean, and... I'm, 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 like I said, I'm, I'm with you. That was our basically our average ranking at 18. We yep. were all pretty much consensus across the board, really, with Sammy there because it's just kind of like you really there's there's some proven guys behind him, but that what the, you're looking at the upside a ton here with Sammy Watkins. I guess maybe you could say like a Corey Davis, or maybe you could take a Juju, or maybe you could take a Thielen here. But or Alshon or, you know, kind of, you kind of could be all over the board. I think I think Sammy for us obviously ended up being the consensus here. So, yeah, I feel good about it. Yeah, I feel good about Sammy. I feel better about him than I have in a while. And I think it's looking up. And regardless of what he does, if he gets franchised, I think that would just be to stall in free agency to pro probably try and extend him long term. I don't think they'd want to yeah. give up a second round pick and all this money just to let him walk the year after that. Sure. So. I think he, I could see him being a guy that's franchised and then signs a long-term deal before that that uh, extension deadline. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd like to see him get out of Dodge, but yeah, what are you gonna do? I could go either way. I could Let's, go either uh, way, and that's why that's part of why his value is up there because sure. you could you right. could see him going somewhere else. You Again. could see him staying. So that's Absolutely. part of that sure. sustainability. All right, so let's let's wrap this up here. Let's take a break. We'll we'll, we'll get to the last two guys who you know I know we we kind of mentioned it going out on the last one. These guys are, you know, I, I feel like this is a, you kind of could throw a whole bunch of guys here in the, in the next 10 spots, really. Yeah. It's so going to be tough. Let's take a break. We'll gather our thoughts, maybe take a short bathroom break, gather and, our composure, uh, pop a fresh one and get into it. All right. 